Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we're going to be looking at Swift UIs with animation completion callback in iOS 17. So beginning with iOS 17, Swift UIs with animation block introduces a completion handler feature. This allows developers to track the exact moment when an animation concludes. This enables them to perform additional actions after the animation finishes. This completion handler enhances the control over the animation synchronization and facilitates the post-animation tasks effectively. Now to illustrate this concept, we are going to draw up an example and we'll create a view containing a circle that changes its color when user taps on it. Okay, so for this we are going to create two state properties. Okay, and then we're going to create a circle. All right, we're going to use foreground style to color the circle. And we're going to give it a color of like, you know, the color state variable. And we're going to apply some gradient to that. Okay, next thing is uh, we're going to basically uh, put an overlay So we have something to look at. So we're gonna have a text here. All right, okay. So now we have our circle and the overlay. Let's go ahead and add some padding around uh, the uh, circle. And then we're going to basically add an on tap gesture. And this on tap gesture is going to initiate the animation by calling with animation block. Okay, with animation block, uh, we're going to basically simply uh, toggle the animation and change the color to mint. Okay, so when user taps on the um, taps on the circle, then the color will change uh, and color will change to the mint color. Now, in this instance, to have the circle revert back to its original color after the animation completes, we can utilize the newly introduced <coughs> completion block par parameter in with animation. Now, this allows us to execute specific action once the animation finishes. So, you can look at the implementation or the signature for this new block. If you type just with animation, you're going to notice that now it actually takes a trailing closure, which throws results, but it has like, you know, it's a body type. Okay, so let's go ahead and select this implementation and let's try to jump into um, the definition. Well, I think we'd have to define the animation first. So not this implementation actually uh, with animation, the one that takes the completion. Um, there we go. So animation completion criteria and then uh, the completion. So there we go. We have like, you know, the body and it calls the completion. So let's go ahead and define what we need to do. And then how we are going to look at the definition. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. And then we can have basically uh, the on tap will change the color. Once the animation completes, we're going to change the color back to orange. Okay, now let's go ahead and try to jump into the definition. So right click on with animation and jump into the definition. Okay, so this is the definition for your with animation, which now takes the uh, completion criteria 
which is basically whenever the uh, animation logically completes that's when it actually executes so animation completion criteria is logically complete and then you have the body that actually is a closure which actually lets you define the further actions that you want to take once the animation completes okay let's go back all right so now we have basically animation that uh, basically changes the color but after the after it finishes it's actually going to change the color of the circle back to orange so let's go ahead and tap and notice that once the color was changed to mint the animation was complete and then immediately after that the color was reverted to the original color once again we can see it like you know with this so color is taking transition it actually completes the mint color uh, full transition to the mint color and then it reverted back to the original orange color okay now by combining multiple animations with the completion block we can create a unique customer experience okay let's go ahead and try that out with another example so I'm gonna move this inside another example let's go ahead and create one and I'm gonna call this example one let's make this private and uh, we are going to just say example one and I'm gonna re remove these state properties so we have these state properties basically defined only once okay all right so now we are ready for our next example so i'm going to just create a private var example two some view and then we're going to call the example two here okay so now for the for the next example we're going to again need two state properties so let's go ahead and create state private var uh, we're going to create two offset properties so offset a and in this case we can have three circles so uh, we're going to have offset for circle a offset for circle c and we're going to have b circle in between which is not going to have an offset okay so uh, let's go ahead and draw a i'll put a c stack in here and uh, we're going to draw circle okay we're gonna draw another circle and another one so you're gonna have three circles now let's go ahead and fill these so we're gonna fill this with uh, the orange color let's go ahead and give it a frame width is 200 and by defining just the width for the circle we actually get the height adjusted as well because a circle is inside a square that means whenever we adjust either the height or the width we actually get a circle with resized version of like you know the frame that we have defined now we're gonna set the offset uh, for this guy for the y-axis as offset a okay because this is circle a all right and uh, the next one uh, we're gonna once again set the same properties for the next circle and the last one as well okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the middle circle at the z index minus one okay and then we're gonna basically set the offset for our circle C as the offset C okay so now we have like you know everything ready to go we are now gonna put an overlay content so let's go ahead and put an overlay with the content and uh, the content once again is gonna be text devtechie.com and let's go ahead and give it a font of title okay and uh, now we're gonna basically come to the main part of the video which is uh, on tap gesture so on tap gesture and we're gonna put our with animation block here so with animation okay let's go ahead and give this an animation this time as well so we're gonna basically first create our uh, animation in the completion block and I'm gonna create the animation parameter as well so animation animation 
dot spring and we're gonna give it a damping fraction which is gonna make it bouncy so spring with damping fraction and uh, all right so let's go ahead and see if I can type this damping fraction okay there we go 0 0.1 is what we are what we are looking for okay now we got what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the offset um, a to basically same as offset C and uh, we're gonna say uh, sorry we're gonna set the offset based on the offset C so we're gonna compare if the offset C is at zero zero set the offset um, okay let me take it back I'll step back so what we're going to do is basically when we have the offset a set and we want to detect like you know if it's at zero zero we want to move it uh, up okay and uh, for that we're gonna basically say um, offset a if it is basically 0, 0 0.0 right in that case we want to move the circle up okay negative direction okay and if it is at if it is not zero zero that means it's probably 60 in that case we want to move it back to 0, 0.0 okay now we want to do the same thing with offset C but in the opposite direction we want to move it down okay so we're going to change it to 60 all right so I'm going to leave the completion just like this and uh, let's go ahead and try this out so i'm going to press the um the button like you know basically tap the uh the circle and you can see that our view has expanded and it's right now changing the uh, changing the uh circle the size of the uh of the view okay so basically changing the offset for these two and because all three are same color it has this uh, cool effect okay now what we can do is once the animation completes we're gonna ha and start another animation and this is gonna be a simple animation uh, where we want to revert everything back to its original position okay so we're gonna say animation dot spring and we want to set the offset a to 0, 0.0 and offset C to 0, 0.0 as well okay so now what should happen is whenever we whenever user taps on the button it should actually expand but then it should collapse back so it's almost like they're trying to uh, get away but they actually come back right so this is the effect that we want to create uh, like i said like you know by combining these uh with animation and by handling the completion uh, basically you can create some interesting uh, effects okay and that's what we saw in this video uh this once again this feature was introduced in ios 17 and actually adds a lot of power to your with animation block with that we have reached the end of this video. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in another video.